Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric Hall Wheel. We have with us the Jetson Bolt Pro. It is a 36 volt, six amp hour battery inside this compartment. And the six amp hours isn't getting a lot of people very far. So we're gonna take it where we always do. We have a 36 volt battery. This is a 36 volt, 12 amp hour battery as opposed to the 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery that you're used to seeing us hold. But this one is gonna do the same fitment we think right here underneath the seat. This is where I've actually put it on my personal electric e-bike. We anticipate a pretty quick install. The bigger burden with this casing is going to be the rubber plugs that fill the screw holes around the casing. I believe there are seven screws that we're gonna have to take out, so we're gonna be pretty careful with that. Try not to script those. We're not gonna break the case because when we put it back, we have to be ultra careful not to over tighten. Um, and then we anticipate an XT60 setup, which is going to go quite well with our electric all-wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. We are planning to house the 20 amp discharge balancer inside the casing here and then we will run the extensions out the back side and to the battery here right under the seat. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect this so it doesn't get hung or ripped out while I'm working on it. And that just slips right under this attachment here and then plugs in right at the controller. So I can already see that the controller is mounted at the screw plate and then right up here in my wire cluster is my XT60 and my power connection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and detach that. This one over the top is with the yellow wiring goes to the battery. And then this one is my lead out to my controller. So now I'm gonna take my kit And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and check assessment. I think that this is just going to fit right in. It looks like it will. It's just going to fit right there, right over the controller top. So that'll be good. And then I'm just going to plug in the correct connection. I know this is out to my controller. So I'm going to take that and plug in right there. And then I need to get a battery connection. So I'm gonna take my existing battery connection and go ahead and plug that in right there. Now this last one will be for your external connection, which we will run. We're gonna run that connection down the body here and then we'll try and come out right here at the exit so that we can get it on the seat for uh, a stable post mount. So first thing we need to do is test that this connection is good. I've turned it on. And we see that we are just plugged in with the balancer inside the unit. And there we go, the wheel does run. All right, so we have a good connection.
What I'm going to do now is disconnect the factory battery. And I know that I've got this hanging out. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my XT60 connections and I'm just going to interconnect those. I'm going to feed it through this slot right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in to one of the connectors for the balancer. So before I do all that, I'm going to take this end. There we go. And I'm just going to plug it in. Now I know that this is the only thing that's connected to my balancer and it strings out to my second battery, so I'm good there. Go ahead and turn this on. And there we go, we have power and we know that we are not connected to the factory battery, which is here. There's only one, here's the connection to the controller and then it runs to the balancer, and that's it. So I'm going to take this connection loose real quick, and then I'm going to place my balancer inside the unit. So I'm actually going to move this over. I'm going to go ahead and test this again real quick. Perfect. There we go, I'm gonna slip that uh, over the top of the controller. Get my wiring in there. Slip this inside the XT60 connections and then bring it around and connect my factory battery. We already know that the external battery is connected. Now I'm going to bring this wire right over the top. Disconnect it real quick. And that's so I can get it right through here. And there we go. My external factory connection is undone right now. I'm going to go ahead and test the power one more time. We know that that's factory connection and we are connected with all connections here for the external battery. It is loose, but we've already made sure that it works. We have power to the wheel, so we're going to go ahead and close this up. Don't forget to reconnect your charging port.
All right, taking a look at my battery. I'm gonna be best suited right in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and first, I'm just gonna hang it. Now I'm going to go ahead and run my cabling up. I'm going to make my connection. Sit that down into the bag. Actually, I'm going to loosen my Velcro and use the Velcro strap to help hold this cable on. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Sift it down into the bag. Actually, I can run it back here and then plug it in. Go ahead and get my charging port tucked away. There. So I turn that around just to alleviate some of the obstruction. It'll also hold the seat. It'll keep it from poking into the face of the battery as well. So there we have it. We have taken a six amp hour, 36 volt Jetson Bolt Pro and turned it into an 18 amp hour, 36 volt e-bike. This thing has tripled the capacity that it had. We have added 12 more amp hours on top of the original factory six amp hours for this 36 volt setup. This battery costs approximately $200. It is 36 volt, 12 amp hours. I uh, got it on Amazon. We'll leave a link in the description below. The kit from Electric All Wheel, it is a $50 kit and it comes with the two XT60 extensions plus the 20 amp dual battery discharge balancer. Easy install, took about 15 minutes to get this done. We now have a total of 18 amp hours for an extended range Jetson Bolt Pro. If you haven't already, check out all our social media pages. Give us a like and subscribe here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida Facebook group. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, we always need more participants in that. We're really happy with this, about $250 with the balancer kit from Electric All Wheel and the battery from Amazon, 12 amp hours from a 36 volt setup. This is giving us an 18 amp hour total. We're really happy with that. We'll talk to you next time.